Yo, what up, guys? Welcome to episode one of Behind the Brand. I got a big amount. I think I'm the biggest out. Got hits and I ain't even put them out. Lit and you can't even put it out. I'm sure a lot of you guys know that I do have a brand. I've done a lot of clothing brand series about, you know, just starting and the process of it all. It's, it ain't easy, man. It ain't easy by any means. It's a lot of trial and error. Uh, I've invested a lot of money into this. You know, I truly believe in it and I've always wanted my own brand and just to wear my own clothes. So, you know, I just figured I'd make somewhat of a series behind the brand and kind of bring you guys along with what it takes and, you know, all the small little details. You guys can see like the stickers that come with it. Um, just kind of what I use and, you know, kind of understand more in depth of what the meaning behind the brand is. Right now, I'm actually sewing. Yeah, man, your boy learned how to sew. You know, I'm trying to <laughs> learn as much as possible. We have the St. Michael tag, handmade in Denver. Um, and I'm just simply sewing these in. And every single shirt, man, I'm, I'm handling it. Trying to somewhat, if you see some incorrections in the stitching, well, it was me. At least for now. So here's an example of the label that I sew in. I'm still working. This is a work in progress. But you know, I'll get better at it. And I could easily pay for someone to do this, but obviously I just, I like to learn. I like to be hands on. And then you guys can see, it's really that easy, man. Sewing is a lot easier than I thought it was, but I still got a lot of work to do because it's a little crooked. I'm gonna show it to the camera when you, yeah. like just leave it there, I'll zoom in on it. Okay. Yeah. Pretty fancy, uh, you like my little girly uh, system. People are gonna be looking that up. I know, brother. Sponsor me, I need some sales. The next, this thing is like a lifesaver, so it basically folds the clothes nice for you. This is quite the process. You can get all of this done usually with like a screen printer or whatever embroidery. I just like to do it. I don't know, probably just waste of time, but humble beginnings. And then every order usually comes with some type of sticker. This is the 3M. This design is fire. It's by my boy Nafis. And let's not forget, this is Supima cotton. Shirt comes with the tag, the finest cotton in the world. I'm telling you, this stuff is ridiculous. That boy up. Who's it going to? There we go, there we go. This is going to Devin Black. Shout out to you, my guy. daily rundown um, a couple of you guys actually purchased the SS 19 now I haven't dropped the entire collection yet um, the rest of it will be coming soon the hoodies are just super fire. you'll see like the crew next today but this is a couple of the teas uh, I'll just shout out a couple people that ordered shout out to Demario shout out to Devin shout out to Matt Taven Walter, my guy, Walter. Um, we got Druzy. Druzy, you know who you are, obviously. Um, my boy, Josh. And that's all we got now. I'm waiting for you to order. Place your order down below. So one thing that's easy 
is that the majority of these packages are like pre ready to go. So I don't go in the post office and pay there. Is it recording? Yeah. Oh. I don't go in and pay there. I pre print everything. If you haven't seen that in my how to start a clothing brand series, you can check that out. But it's all ready to go. I just get receipts and then I leave. So, as you guys can see, as you guys can see, <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's super simple. I just drop it off, get the receipt. And it's important to get the receipt because if the package ever gets lost, you have proof that you dropped it off. You can't get to it. Oh, yeah. That's insane. I don't like this where I can't see what I'm like picturing, you know? I just have to think that. Oh, like you can't see what you're me. recording right yeah. now? I mean, for the most part. Where are we going? Same in right there? Huh? What's, what's planned today? What's he doing? We to this we, we are out in the middle of the desert. We little do you guys know we actually are murderers. Oh god, I'm zoomed way in. Alright. <laughs> You're at 16. <laughs> um, Alright guys, we are headed to the clothing place. I'm gonna pick up some crew necks and embroidery. Kyle's gonna get some sneakers. Hopefully. What kind of sneakers do you like, big fellas? Like I like the Pegasus, they're just too nice. Are yours like worn out now or what? I just go through them suckers like in, I would say every six months I go through a pair of shoes and tennis shoes. Really? Like, they say you're supposed to change them out that much. I don't know. I mean like a good running shoe, a walking shoe that you wear every single day. Oh yeah, well I haven't wear that heard. sucker out. I might even be four months. Four months? That I wear it out. Yeah, I think in that case, like my epic reacts from running on the treadmill, the whole soul is like gone. Yeah. So, I really feel like those shoes, the Pegasus, yeah. they help my back and my this overall like skeletal features feel better. Huh. I don't know if it's the cushion that they provide or what, but yeah. I mean, to it's a deal. I wear anything else, and I my feet hurt, my back will hurt a little more. Yeah. Wear those, I just feel great. Like I feel like no pressure. See, I don't like them. I mean, it's hard to give up a shoe like that. Yeah, I mean, when you, it's, it's like the Kobe so well, right? Yeah, Kobe right. basketball. Like, why would I shoe. try anything else? Exactly. Like, well, I mean, we should. For, well, yeah, for performance for you. Different, but I mean, like, <laughs> if I'm if I have a choice, I'm gonna hoop in the shoe that I know is not gonna give me blisters, it's gonna be comfortable, not gonna bust my knees, bust my back. So, what's your what's your go-to walking shoe? Um, the Epic. React by Nike right now. Hands down. Yeah. If I'm just gonna go for like walk. How about going out on the town? Like if you're going out to the club, what shoe you wear? Um the five four uh, New Republic shoes. Yeah, they're comfortable? Yeah, they're it's like just you like can a, dance all night now. Yeah, it's like a fun. casual very high end shoe, yeah. Yeah, looks good. Got any footage of me busting and moving? I actually do, me and Kais. <laughs> <laughs> We're like, 901 should be drive. And basketball, the Kobe 11. Kobe 9. 9. 9. Yeah. And then maybe like a quick, my favorite shoe to like go to the store, like King Supers, is uh, fours. Just live them on and keep them moving. Fresh. Oh, so sore. I actually already paid for this. I'm really sore too. Jeez. Did you care about my camera? I don't know. I guess we'll find out. Are you filming? Yeah. Can I know? Okay? Um, yeah, I guess so. <laughs> I'm just not that familiar with that. So, these are two boxes. Okay. And uh, if you could just sign that and then send that to me and then have it okay. when you go back to the door. Sweet. Awesome. Thank you. I wonder if uh, Dave is here. Who's Dave? Here's the guy who just walked up right here. Is he a s slender guy? No, he's right here. Oh. Are you one Dave? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Good. 
I asked what the comments for? Yeah, it's for my YouTube channel. Oh, just, okay. Yeah. Cool. Alright, as long as we have. Yeah, he's just on the phone right now. So. Okay, cool. It's funny. Alright, guys, so this is the warehouse. It's pretty crazy, it's pretty epic. Mike, what's happening? Hey, how you doing? Good, good. I was gonna ask you about the rest of this stuff. Um, let's do a better handshake. Uh, <laughs> I, did, I, did, I did a bad one there, man. <laughs> yeah, I'm uh, just recording. It's great. That's All good. good. Yep, yeah, totally good, Sweet. man. So uh, the tees should be here within, we think, the next week. Okay. And then the hoodies uh, about that same timeline. So the uh, two different ports, but um, yeah, apparently there was like a chemical spill and then a Ooh. fire in the port in Houston. What's up, man? Hey, how's it going? Good, good. So just okay. like more excuses that, yeah. you know, just like Happens. stuff that's like out of our control, but sure. still just sucks that we don't have the stuff because we want it here. Yeah much as you do so yeah, for sure i'm but sorry man next week no i mean i'd love good. to give you good news man but i gotta be the guy that delivers shitty news every yeah. once in a while you know <laughs> it's all good yeah sweet okay so next week yep i mean these are probably the shirts turned out great they look really good man yeah, yeah. yeah really good they take the ink good for oh, you guys when you great printers? yeah the That's dtg up, turned out cool. amazing so great, i'm excited man. to see the hoodies that's gonna be sweet yeah they're close yeah. The hoodies might actually be here before the tees. Okay. So and then, what else are you guys going to drop? Are you going like to sweatpants? Yeah, we're, we actually just saw the first round of sweatpants samples, so we'll see. Yeah, Sweet. it's not 100% sure, but it looks pretty good. Yeah. Yeah, we didn't, Pete's, we didn't um, do more. Pete's pushing hard for it, so. Okay. Yeah. Sweet. Yeah. Right. Okay. Well, Something well, good with you, man? Yeah. Right. yeah, everything's good. Just now I'm trying to incorporate more into the YouTube and just kind of show behind the scenes. Wonderful. Just to make it more personable. Yep. So, yeah. Dude, I checked out uh, a couple videos, man. Yeah. yeah. Great. Yeah. Love awesome. it, man. You got a lot of, a lot of charisma, man. And, Thank you uh, so much. Yeah, of course, man. I'm excited to see, uh, see where everything goes. It looks like yeah. it's going great. I think, I think it'll turn out really good. So I'm excited for these. They're going to be embroidered. Nice. So yeah. That's what's up, man. Uh, okay, we'll head out, and I guess yeah. I'll see you in a week or two. Okay, dude, sounds great, uh, man. Yeah. yeah, text call anytime. My uncle, by the way. I hey, man, I'm Dave. Nice to meet you. Good to meet you too, man. So, so what's what's the weather like out there? Is it getting get warm? Oh, yeah. it's ridiculous. And we could pop this open if you want to. Yeah, my car is. Okay. I gotta sign this real quick. Okay. Yeah. What are you shooting with, man? Oh, this is that Sony. Okay. Yeah, the cool. A7 III. It's pretty nice. Like, I'm still like learning a lot of stuff about it just to kind of yeah. get my footage perfect. But yeah, yeah, yeah. There's so much you can do with these things. Right it's on, ridiculous. man. I know. We um, done a lot of photography, a lot of video stuff over the years. Big fella. Hey, big fella. Basically, they have it mastered, you know? As far as what? The sizing? The sizing, quality. Material. Yeah, material is just the best cotton in the world, which, nice. I mean, why would I do that? Right. So, for a lot of you guys, I used to outsource. And I stopped doing that because the time that it takes and all the trial and error, all the money I've spent on sampling, it's just ridiculous. So, with this, I know the quality is perfect, I know the sizing is perfect, and it just comes down to me being able to actually be hands-on. I can go to my embroiderer, tell them exactly the dimensions I want. It cost me a little, actually it cost me a lot more to make these, but I know the quality is always going to be a God damn it, you're going to have to start the, no, it was recording. Oh, I'm was like, was that? The whole time? Or no, it was recording. Oh. I didn't see the R for some reason, I'm uh, like, what the, is there any other place that you can see it? Like um, red blinking usually, or anything? trash like this little red can barely see that shit. I don't know honestly. I panic. <laughs> you know, you that that? Oh I fucking panic like I've, motherfucker. I've shot like perfect video <laughs> and it didn't go through. I was like no I didn't do that. He spent all that time talking. I didn't have yeah, shit. So yeah I mean to me it's just like until St. Michael gets to a point where I'm getting like thousands of orders which I'm not. I'd rather have small quantities of amazing quality. So, like, feel this. You can't tell me this is a nice hoodie. Mm. 
I do like that. That thick feel. Yeah. And yeah. You know, you got the high quality zipper. Look at that side. See how soft that is? This is the large. Jeez, you ain't joking. Look at that. You know? So. That's nice. Where are we at, Big Phil? All right, guys, so this is the next place we are picking up the crew necks. The door's locked. Huh. You cut that short. Cut what short? After you said door's locked. Yeah, I know. Make the hole when I was recording, like, where we're at. You're like, oh, shit, it's locked. Didn't you? No. Oh. I said where we're at. All Picking right. up the crew next. Should I do it again? No. If you think you Is got uh, Kevin here, anybody? Okay. Okay. Can I pay? Okay. Should I call him? There we go. I've been your Still got a lot of the collection left, but boy, when I tell you these are fire, super nice embroidery, nice. super nice organic cotton hoodie, simple embroidery on the front. You got the cross with the feathers. Actually, let me just put one on. I, yeah. I'm excited. So this is a large hoodie. Now it just comes down to how you want your fit. Do you want it like athletic or you want it a little loose? You want to show those guns or not? <sighs> yeah, I want to show them. This is large. Ooh. Slim. Nice. Ain't got no belly, so it looks good, you know what I'm saying? Wanna do a little spin for us? Hey. What is it? <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, man, these are super nice. Um, these will be available soon. Just gotta get product photos, um, photo shoot, and they'll be available. They are expensive. So you wanna ready. give a price or are you waiting on that? I have the price of my computer. All right, guys. So just running a few other errands. Uh, you know, like I said, I want to this to kind of bring you a little bit closer and understand what Saint Michael represents. And for those of you guys that want to like create brands and you know you have ideas, at the end of the day, you just need to figure out what makes sense. Like, what is the purpose behind your brand? You know, um, obviously, mine comes from. I put a twist on everyone prays in the end. You know. At any point in your life, when I feel like when you're at a low point, hope, whether it's you pray to God, you pray to whoever, that's it, you know? Everyone prays, have faith. That's what my brand represents. It's just belief. And I think that's how your brand should be. If you have an idea, figure out what makes sense. My newest collection, you know, it's heaven after death. And you know, there's a deeper meaning. The whole collection makes sense. And you want people to buy because there's a purpose behind it. So. I just figured that was important. We were just talking about that. And it's just like Nike, for example, you know, you buy it because quality, but also you got a ton of athletes that support it and you want to be a part of it, you know, so there's purpose. You know, Nike really, I don't think it would be Nike if they didn't have the athletes that they have. Do you think? Uh, it wouldn't be as popular, no. I mean, it's like Under Armour. Under Armour puts you gotta out... You got to have somebody backing you. Sure. Yeah. Under Armour puts out amazing products. And they do great, but it's not Nike. They don't got LeBron. You know, they don't have Michael Jordan. They got some good guys, but, you know, I don't know. There's just a lot of purpose behind it. The commercials are so meaningful. They've been really having a lot of empowering commercials. So, yeah. But that's pretty much it for behind the brand today. Let me know what you guys think about this video or series. Just give me some feedback, some questions you'd like me to answer in the next video. Obviously, I'm still working on the spring summer collection, but tees are available now. Crew neck will be available soon, so be on the lookout. The links are down below. You guys can also follow me on Instagram at Mike the Compass or my brand is St. Michael Co. And you know, I'll see you guys in the next video. This is your boy Mike, the Sneaker Life. Catch you next one. Running.